Lisa, what's your take on dollar strength? If you look at emerging markets overall, if the dollar's strong, then they'll be punished. Yeah, look, I think we've seen this narrative already play out, quite frankly. Uh, and our perspective is that uh, the dollar is quite close to peaking. Uh, and I think that that's going to be a function of the euro beginning to get stronger as the European economy gets a bit stronger, uh, as rates there begin to drift higher uh, with, with uh, the fading of ECB policy. Um, and, you know, fundamentally, I think if you look at the moves that have already occurred, um, they're pretty profound. Uh, and so, you know, our perspective is that the dollar is a lot closer uh, to a peak in the current um, cyclical uh, correction. Uh, and we don't see a lot more pain uh, from here coming strictly from the U.S. dollar. What about you, Ian? Well, it, it, it depends where you sit. You know, I, I think... I, I think there might be a little bit more dollar strength. I don't expect a raging dollar bull market. Uh, I, I'm also slightly nervous about Europe and, and hence the prospects for the, for the, uh, for the euro because uh, European liquidity growth has been slowing and GDP growth has uh, not been as strong in the first half of the year as I think a lot of people were expecting after a good back end to 2017. So there is a little bit of a question mark over, over Europe, but I don't think in the short term there's much of a question mark about what's happening in the US and because everyone expects the Fed to keep raising rates that's already kind of priced into the dollar. So exactly it's not like we're going to wake up and suddenly see, oh, well, we didn't see that coming. The dollar shoots to the moon. Um, that might be a story for later next year. But, but for right now, I think everyone's pretty comfortable the Fed hikes four times this year. So where's the short-term dollar momentum from that? It, it's, it's probably already done.